from MJ's Off the Hook, and we're here on week two of the crochet along. So I'm so excited. I've released the second pattern in the crochet along. So it's now available on the blog and YouTube. The second pattern is so the, the textured MS <laughs> stuff going in the background. Sorry about that. So I've released the textured mini stocking as the second pattern. So our first pattern was the mitten, the mini textured mitten, which is right here. So that was the first pattern and this is the second pattern. So if you're just joining me, this is the second week of the crochet along and the release of the second pattern. So let's just go over a few details about the crochet along, just if you're new to it, if you haven't heard about it yet. So I'm doing an advent calendar for the Christmas crochet along this year. I have, I've created six new patterns and you'll need to crochet four of them, four of each pattern to fill your advent calendar. So this is a free event to join. The patterns are free on my blog and on my YouTube channel, but I do have the option to purchase the ebook that includes all the patterns on nice, pretty Christmas, Christmassy paper, and you can download it and print it so that you have a nice copy to work from. But if you don't have the funds for that and you just want to join for free, you can do that. You can just go to the Facebook community group. Some of you are gonna be watching in the group right now. That's where everything is happening, where you can share photos, where you can get involved. So make sure to join the community because that's the place to be for this crochet along. And if you don't have Facebook, if you're watching on YouTube, I'm gonna be going live every time a new pattern releases. So you can still crochet along with us and you can watch the YouTube tutorial to walk you through each of it and go over to the blog and view the pattern for free. So that's kind of what's happening. The patterns release on Mondays and Thursdays every week in November. So if you're thinking you've maybe missed, I know some people, last year I did a daily pattern, but this time we're only doing six. So it's every Monday and Thursday. So no one's missed anything. They're not coming out as quickly as they did last time. It's a little bit slower pace, which is nice. You have lots of time. I've seen so many mittens so far already posted in the community group. It's so exciting to see everybody posting and getting involved. So make sure to go and post your pictures because we love seeing your mittens and your stockings. So I am going to check out comments now. So make sure you say hello. Let me know where you're from. If you've um, if you've started the crochet along, if you're just joining now, just let me know in the comments if you have any questions. That's why I'm here this morning is just to any, answer any questions you have about the crochet along, about the patterns, just to make sure everybody is on track. And again, if you join the community group, there's lots of helpful tips in there. So many people have been making them. So just an example from last week, some of you had found that the cuff turned out a little bit big. I usually crochet when I'm working single crochet in the back loop, I crochet really tight. And I didn't want, I guess in the pattern, people to have to worry about buying two hooks. So I did it all in one hook size. But if you just drop, a, if you drop a hook size on the cuff or you go up a hook size on the mitten part, you might get a little bit more defined cuff for your mitten or what I found is I used my tail for weaving and I just cinched it in a little bit when I wove that tail and that helps as well. So if you've already crocheted it and you're looking at it going, oh, my cuff looks too big. If you just use your tail, it will tighten it up. And someone else used their twine and they wrapped around, they, they wove it around and they use that to tighten it up a little bit. So lots of little tips and tricks in the group. And if you're having problems, you can post in there and somebody will get to you. I've been trying to be as active as possible in the group answering questions. So make sure you join the Facebook group. I'll get Emma to post that link into the comment so everybody has it. Yeah, so that's sort of my spiel this morning, but let's look at your comments and see if you have any questions so far. Um, some people are still waiting for their yarn. Um, I'm really sorry about that. I hope that everyone's going to get their yarn soon, but I know some people who are waiting have just tried out the pattern in different yarns and are using those little ornaments to go on their tree or, 
using as little present toppers. So if you get you can get some practice right now. I know a lot of people are whipping these up so fast. I'm sure that you will catch up in time even if your yarn is a little bit delayed. So good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful morning here. It's a little chilly, but the sun's shining. So that puts me in a good mood for a Monday morning. But it is cold. It was minus two this morning in Ontario, Canada. I'm in Lakefield, just outside of Lakefield. I'm in Okay, guys, sorry about that. I hope I am back up on here. I'm having some problems with my internet this morning. So I'm into, let me know if you guys can hear me now. I think that I'm back on. My internet has been really bad lately. I've just gone into my phone data. So give me, yes, I can, yes, I'm back. Oh, good, oh my goodness stress in the morning lately my internet has been so bad so now we're using phone data to do this live so that's okay i've got lots of i've got lots of data because i am in rural ontario and our internet is not always reliable so sorry about that guys it appears that i'm back and everybody can hear me so that's great so i'm just gonna bring emma in and let her say hi to everybody for those of you who missed the live last week this is my daughter emma she's so Hello. sweet and she is um my new assistant she's working for me now full time so she's helping me out with comments on social media posting for me blog blog post she's helping get all these blog posts ready for the crochet along so i really appreciate her help and she also crochets and she was making a blanket last week and she made one of the mittens so i'm really excited that she's joined into the crochet along as well and she's just learning to read patterns so this is kind of helpful for any of you that are beginners. So Emma doesn't really know how to read a crochet pattern that well. So she was following along with the YouTube tutorial and I was telling her that she needs to follow along with the pattern, watch the YouTube tutorial. So that will kind of help to teach her um, to read the pattern as well. Cause I definitely want, she has her own creative spirit. So she's, like creates her own designs as well. When she was out in Alberta, she was crocheting up her own market bag um, designs. 
So I'm excited to and see. the plant hangers. Oh, the plant hangers. Yeah, Emma was doing plant hangers as well. So she has a, has that creative spark in her. So she needs to learn to write patterns, right guys? Because maybe one day she'll start publishing her own. So yeah, I'm excited to have her on board with me and getting some help. So let's go back and see if we have any questions. So that's what I'm here for this morning. If you have any questions, I don't know if anyone's had a chance yet to work on the newest pattern, which released, I actually posted it last night because everything was ready to go. So it, I posted it last night. So it's on YouTube, it's on the blog, and it's a cute little tiny mini stocking. And we've got, I've already got my chocolates inside. So they're big enough that you can fit in definitely a few chocolates or candies, candy canes, really whatever um, your treat of choice, basically, whatever your kids. I know my kids were like, why did you get dark chocolate? <laughs> I'm laughing because I love the dark chocolate, but apparently they want some milk. So I think Emma got a big bag of milk chocolate. So I'm going to have to split it with her so the kids get some milk chocolate instead of dark. Yeah, so let's see. Um, oh, someone loves the basket. Oh yeah, that's that's one of my winner's finds. I love uh, I love uh, shopping at Winner's Home Sense and getting cool stuff like that. Okay, so um, I have someone saying that they're from Mississippi, Pennsylvania. Um, yeah, so all everyone's joining me from everywhere. So Chile and Washington State this morning as well. Everyone's welcoming you, Emma. So um, I have a comment here that they started the stocking this morning. And just watch the stocking video. Can you talk about the heel? Okay, so the heel is the last thing we do on the stocking. So we start out, we're going to work the stocking in the round. So I start it with a magic circle. I know everybody's not a big fan of the magic circle. So if you're not, you don't like doing the magic ring, you can start that out with a chain, that's fine. So we work around and then we start into the textured pattern. So the same textured stitch that we did for the mitten, the single, which is the Suzette stitch, so the single double skip a stitch, we work that around. So we do six rounds in total, four rounds of the textured stitch. And then what we do is we make a heel opening really simple i like to keep things simple and easy so we work across um i'm trying to think how many stitches i know i do a chain eight and i skip seven stitches for the heel so you're just chaining out you're skipping over those stitches and then you're slip stitching to join so you have then made your heel opening then we just continue working around i know we've now increased from 16 stitches up to 18 and then you continue working that textured pattern just in the round, just like we started it with. And then we do the join as you go cuff at the top. And then we come back to work on the heel. So what I like to do is I flatten it all out like this. So imagine this is an opening right here. I just join on and I single crochet around that opening. So I tell you in the pattern how many single crochets to work around. And then I start doing. I do two rounds with decreases and I do a single crochet three together. So all you do to do that is pulling up a loop in each of those stitches, the three stitches, and then you pull through all four stitches to do the decreases. So we do decreases on each side and we do two rounds. And then I just take my yarn needle, weave it through every other stitch around and just pull it tight. Really, really simple. Not hard at all. The video will walk you through all of that. And they work up super, super quick. So you'll be surprised. Once you get going at them, you can whip these off no problem. So if, again, if your yarn is delayed, don't worry. It won't take any time at all to crochet up these little stockings and mittens. You've got lots of time. We're only at the 14th of November. You still have got lots of time before December 1st. So the goal is to get it all ready for December 1st, and then you can have your advent calendar ready, you can hang it on the wall. So let me know um, if you've made a 
the Advent ladder or if you have bought one. I'd love to know who's made one. I've seen some pictures in the group of people who've made their own. Make sure you post those because we want to see um, someone in the group um, had some help from her husband and she had dowels cut. She used dowels and he helped drill holes and they put it just a great idea. It's nice when you have a handy hubby to help you out with things like that. But I'm sure you ladies can do it on your own too. So make sure to post in the group if you've made your own tree ladder because we'd love to see those or if you have bought one. Okay, so I'm just going to go through some more of the comments just to make sure I don't miss anything. I miss the stocking on YouTube. Have to check. Yes, just go. I now have um, the Christmas crochet patterns like at the very top like if you just go to my youtube channel i've made sure that those christmas videos are all right along the top they're the first videos you're going to see so it is right there the newest video that's come out on my channel so you can't miss it it's right there up at the top plus we have the links in the description i believe as well to get to the blog post which has all of that information too so my blog is my website is mjsoffthehookdesigns.com. So if you go there, you're going to, right on the home page, you're going to see the um, stocking and the mitten pattern blog post right there. Okay, so I'm going to go through these, these comments one by one so I don't miss any yummy favorite dark chocolate. Yes, I am a dark chocolate fan. Love dark chocolate. The kids, apparently, it's not there. Although they do steal it from me all the time, which is interesting because they're telling me now they want milk chocolate. <laughs> they always get into my stash. Okay. <laughs> yes, come and do it with us. This is the most fun thing about getting ready for Christmas is getting to do this together, working away on these. It's so fun. I can't believe how many of you have joined I think we're probably up to 4,000, at least 4,000 people now have joined and so many people are posting and engaging in the Facebook group, which is so exciting to see. Another Canadian um, from the Niagara region. I love Niagara Falls. We visit there all the time. One of my favorite places to go is so beautiful. Okay, so a question here. We do four stockings in this stitch. That is correct. So each pattern that I come out with, we're going to do four of each. I didn't want to overwhelm everyone with a different pattern every day. I thought we can make multiples. We can make them in different colors. You can even get creative. And I did mine solid, but you could just to, you know, mix, mix it up a bit. You could start your toe in one color and do your textured stitch in a different color and then do your little heel in a different color and the ribbing in a different like in a different color so like i would pick two colors and then just have the toe heel and cuff all in the same color and all the textured in the same color so that's another way you can get creative with the little stockings but you'll memorize the pattern really really quickly so getting to make multiples is great and even go for it and make extras for your christmas tree or for some present toppers as well, because people just love these. And so inexpensive, it's so quick and easy to make. Everyone is gonna love it. I've bought some candy canes now to add some candy canes into mine as well. And love that your daughter's with you. I'm so happy too. She's like, mom, do I have to go live again? I'm like, yes. <laughs> of course you have to go live again. And she's working on, are you working on another mitten? Yeah. She's working mm -hmm. on, yeah, she's working on another minute. She hasn't started on the stockings yet, I don't think. No, you haven't tried one yet? No, not yet. But she was working on the next blog post for Thursday, which is going to be, so the next one will come out on Thursday, and you're going to love this. If you love little puff stitches, the next one is going to be the puff stitch mitten. So um, let me see here. Another question. How often are the patterns coming out? So they're coming out on Mondays and Thursdays through November. Okay. So if you remember that every Monday morning, you're going to get a new one. And then I'm going to give you a little bit of time before I release the next one. So Thursday morning, the next one will come out. And then the following Monday, you'll get the puff stitch stocking, which I believe I have here as well. So the little puff stitch stocking, and then we have the last ones are stripes. So we're going to go with then our striped little mitten, which again, it's 
super easy to crochet. And then we have the little striped stocking. So those are the patterns that we have for the advent calendar. So again, they're quick and easy. I would say that they're all beginner friendly. The puff stitch might be the most challenging um, one to do, but once you get the hang of the puff stitch, I think you, the trick is with the puff stitch is you have to keep that stitch loose. If you don't keep it loose, you're gonna struggle pulling through. There's nine loops to pull through. So if you don't keep it loose, that's the biggest challenge, but the construction is the same as the other mitten. So it's just getting that puff stitch down and then you'll be, and then you'll be great. Have someone here from South Africa, exciting. Um, someone from Alberta. And I actually, one of my, one of our good friends that used to live here moved to Airdrie, Alberta. And we visited them, I guess, when we were, did we get two visits in with them? I'm trying to think. I think at least one when I went out to see Emma, we got to visit them. And we went to your Festival of Lights or something that they had at uh, Christmas time, which was really exciting. So that was a lot of fun. Love to see where everybody's from that's joining us. Kansas City. Okay, so I have someone here saying that, oh, hang on, what did I do? I will make my own, I need to get the wooden star. Yes, like show us, I did the little tutorial um, in the ebook as well as on the blog to make your own. So if you're making your own, we would love to see how you put this together and how it comes together, how easy it is, let us know. And another, did you make the sweater? Yes, this sweater I did make with the nice lace um, sleeves. This is on my YouTube channel. It's on the blog. So if you love the sweater, it is the crossover, the Sandy Seashells crossover wrap cardi, I think is what I called it. It has a big name, but it's basically a crossover style. You cross it over. It has some strings you tie it around the back. It's just a nice fun and it's soft and flowy. Yeah, it's one of my favorite. I would really love to do a dress in this style. So maybe eventually I'll get that to come out for you guys. Okay, so bought my tree off Amazon. Yes, lots are getting them from Amazon. It's crazy. Emma went and I don't know if she went back to the mitten. Did you go back to the mitten blog and link more stuff or just the newest blog post? We have linked more options in the blog because these guys have been selling like crazy. The, the numbers are selling like crazy. They could be potentially sold out now or you may not be able to get them in time. Everyone's buying everything up so quickly the tree ladder. So we tried to link some on Etsy for you. We did some links to Etsy. We did some more links to Amazon. And I, I'm not sure if she went back to the mitten post and posted those, but definitely on the stocking blog post, we have those links. I don't think I can get in. So what we'll do is we'll make sure that they're on each of the blog posts as we go. Um, but these are selling out quickly. We've made, I've, this, this crochet along has made those tree ladders and those numbers super popular this year. So they have been selling like crazy. Okay, so my husband and I just found sticks on a walk yesterday. And we will assemble it this weekend. So has anyone found a star? That's a good question. Check on Amazon too. Like you could always search on Amazon, especially if they haven't got super popular yet. You can usually get them next day or two day delivery. So check on Amazon, check your craft stores. You know, I'm sure you could even like, you could make, there's probably tutorials to do little stick stars or something that you could get crafty. Even cinnamon sticks would be, would be fun. But yeah, figure out if anyone, make sure to post that in the group. If you find a great place to get the stars or a good tutorial for making a star, post that into the Facebook community group because we're looking, we're looking for ideas. We want this to be inexpensive. We want it to be fun. It's a great gift. If you want to make one for a family member, anyone would love to have this and it's not a huge investment at all, especially if you go and you can collect most of it on your own. So you only need three balls of yarn to make an entire set. So the colors that I use, let's talk about yarn for a minute. I use buff cream and garnet. This is actually my red, but I use the garnet. And so these are the three colors that I chose.
from Mary Maxim. They provided me with the yarn for this project. And you get about 284 yards on a ball. So you get a lot of yardage on one of these and it is a DK weight. Now, I've linked some substitutes as well on the blog post. A light worsted would be absolutely fine. And I use pretty much all of all of these, okay? So I had some red, probably the red is the most I had left over, but I didn't add as much red into my ornaments. You can always order extra if you think you wanna make some extras anyways. Doesn't hurt to order extra, but I used, with my gauge, my tension, I used pretty much all of all of the balls to make to make mine. So let's see. I'm gonna keep going through lots of cedar trees here at my door. So great. I mean, and that's if you can go and collect, or even if you go on a nature walk, like if you don't have any trees, you want to go like locally and just pick up your sticks. I have all of the dimensions, everything is on the blog, what size to cut them to. So, or dowels, you can use dowels as well. Oh, this is a great idea. I love hearing your ideas. So I'm going to use the mini mittens and stockings on a front door wreath. That would look amazing. That's a great idea, Emma. You need to make one of those. <laughs> She's actually not going to do the advent calendar. She's going to just do the, or or the ornaments to put them on her tree. So that's her plan right now. Okay, so this is cool. I purchased an advent calendar similar 17 years ago. Wow, that's amazing. They are now 23 and 19. It's on a garland chain. Okay, that's great. I mean, and this is not a new a new idea. This is just, you know, again, like we've been doing advent calendars for years, but I've never crocheted an advent calendar. So this is exciting for me to do this. And this is kind of an idea I've had I've been wanting to do for a long time. So I'm glad that I finally was able to execute it. This time of the year just gets so crazy. And I find it's sometimes hard, like as a designer, I have so many commitments. I have so much on my plate to like fit stuff in. But last year after how popular the Mary Mini collection was, I'm like, I have to do an advent calendar next year. I have to work on these in the summer. I told myself I was gonna make them all in the summer. Didn't get them all made in the summer, but I did get to it. Probably by September, I was working on all of these. Hello from Alabama. Hi, Wendy. Can't wait to get started this week. I'm so excited to have you join us and everyone who's joining. It's so exciting to see so many of you and so many of you on the live this morning. Um, I know a lot of people work, so thanks so much for joining us. And I have here, hello, Emma, good to see you with your mom. Oh, see, it's mm -hmm. nice to have you <laughs> on board with me on these lives, even if you're just crocheting. She'll make sure she puts any comments in. Okay, we have to share wedding photos. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna get on that. I'm gonna get Emma, I'll get Emma to post some of her I'll get her all favorites. the photos soon. I only yes. have a couple right now. She only has a few from her photographer. Sneak like she just peeks. got her sneak peeks, but she should be getting all of the pictures soon. But we have some that we can share. We keep forgetting to do that. So we will share some. Okay, let's see. What's the crochet number you use? So I have it late. We have them linked on the blog. I bought a little um, set of one to 24. I got the little round ones, but there's lots of cute ones on Amazon or Etsy to choose from. Emma's linked some to Etsy, right? You found some different, Emma found some different ones on Etsy because I know these were selling out quickly, but there are some cute ones. If you go to the Facebook group, people are posting, there's little ones with like their numbers, but then they have cute little shapes like in behind, so like stars and trees and houses and stuff. I think I linked some of those onto the blog posts. Okay, it's on so, both blog posts now. so the blog post has lots of links for you to go and check out and see which ones that you really like. But they these ones are these little wooden numbers and they came with the twine and everything just so we can easily just attach them and tie them to the tree ladder. Okay. Okay, so let me just keep going through the comments here. We'll make sure we get to all of them. My first mitten being new to this is a bit of a misfit. I did a half double crochet stitch instead of the double crochet. I was going to redo it, but it's going to be a nice memory of my learning. Yes, 
yes, yes, yes. Keep all of those first projects because those are so great to look back on and just see how far we've come. Plus, you know, it's, they're all cute. Even when we mess up and do things differently. Like, I mean, Emma did such a great job on her first little mitten. It's adorable. It's perfect, Emma. I think her little stitch, she did her stitch pattern really nice. I know this is another tip with the textured stitch. The second round of the textured stitch, you're always, you're still skipping that every other stitch, but the stitch you work into is the single crochet from the previous round. So your single crochet is going to be down a little bit more and then the double will, will puff up. So it's sort of easy to kind of just see which stitch you need to work into. So it's the single that you're working into on that second round and each of the rounds after. So that helps you keep your stitch. And I'm sure a single and a half double would still look nice. It's just going to be a little bit shorter. You're just going to make a bit smaller mitten. Okay, so yeah, we have lots of people joining. We have someone coming from Susanna from Portugal, which is amazing. Texas, another person from Texas. I'm sure, the weather's warm there still, <laughs> right, Emma? Yeah, we'd love to visit Texas. Um, she also made Rhonda made two of my cardigans working on the third now. The cardigans are so popular, especially on my YouTube channel. Everyone loves the, the garments that I do, but I hope anyone who's making cardigans will still come and join this collection because this is so fun for everyone um, during the holidays. Okay, hello from Alabama. Exciting. Anyone have an idea? Okay, so I haven't gotten through all the comments, so we'll see if anyone has posted about the stars yet. Oh, now this is exciting. Hello from Newf Newfoundland. I have family that live in Newfoundland, so that's exciting. My father was from Newfoundland. He came to Ontario when he was nine years old, so there's a little backstory there. My family. Let's see. The ads, you can usually close out of ads if they are covering anything, but all of the relevant information should still be visible. They shouldn't be blocking anything out. So it looks like we have, I wonder what sold out, if it's the trees or the numbers. They're all selling out super quick, but you know what? You can get um, another idea someone had posted in the group is she just used little hearts, um, little plain wooden hearts, and she's going to write numbers on them. So lots of different options. If you can't get numbers, you could always buy just little wooden. And usually you can find different little wooden things at the dollar store even. And just write your numbers on them. I There's so many cute ideas. I've, I've been picking up stuff from Michael's. I have some collaborations with Michael's. So I've been picking up like little, there's like little chalkboard, little chalkboard things. So I'm going to use those as name tags, all kinds of fun Things. Just look in your craft, look in your craft stores. And, and here's another one about the sweater. Yes, Emma's wearing the lakeside cardigan. This is the one that she wanted to steal from me from the get go. <laughs> <laughs> it's the crop one that she's wearing. And that video is on my YouTube channel. So if you want to check that out and all of the patterns, all of my garment patterns come in X small to five X. So we get everybody usually the video tutorials are only done in one size but watching one size will give you will teach you how to crochet the pattern so you can just follow along with the written pattern work through the steps you just do the additional rows or the additional stitches whatever you need for your size my cat's running around i need emma to go grab her to show you our new little kitten here that has that we've adopted so She's really sweet. You're going to have to go get her, Emma, <laughs> or I'll go grab her. Yeah. She's over there laying. She's so cute. Okay, let's see. But not the same. Yeah. So, yeah, things definitely. Um, oh, no. Someone said their numbers got damaged. Oh, and someone said she was going to crochet a star. That's a great idea, too. That's a great idea. Oh, and that's another, see everyone, thanks for commenting all your great ideas, adding a bow to the top instead of a star. That's a great idea. And there's also so many um, tutorials online to, so like 
Okay, so you guys need to see our little Taffy. So this is Taffy. Isn't she cute? Come on, look at the camera, sweetie. <laughs> so we no. live on a farm. She's like, I'm out of here. I don't want to be on the camera. So we live on a farm and we have a stray female cat that's had some kittens. And the kids, of course, and myself, we've been feeding them and nurturing them and trying to earn their love and affection. And we finally, um, Taffy, we've been able, she's really becoming a, a nice house cat. She's come in and she's loving us. And But Whiskers, our male stray that we adopted, he has been gone now for a few days. So we're all getting like really worried. He always takes off for a few days and I'm I'm starting to kind of panic a little bit now because he hasn't come back. So, yeah. So anyways, these strays. But yeah, I'm going to take her and get her fixed. And um, also Emma and Jacob seem to have adopted Garfield that we called him. He was the orange kitten in the litter. So here's our kitten talk today. And Jacob loves Garfield. So I think they're going to adopt Garfield and I need to find homes for the other two because I think we have them tamed enough that we can, I ordered a little cat carrier that we can maybe get some homes for the other two before it gets um, too too cold for them. I mean, I know they do okay during the winter, but it'd be nice to get them some homes. Okay. Keep going through these comments, watching from the Netherlands. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's keep going. I still can't get in. Yes. You can't get in? Oh, so our internet still isn't working? Yeah, yours is okay because you're on data, but I'm oh, still yes. on the Wi-Fi, so, so nothing's... Yeah, so Emma cannot log in. She said the Wi-Fi is not working this morning, so good job for data. The advent. Hmm. We'll have to look into the ads and see what's going on on the site. We'll look into that and see what's happening. Um, here's another idea. Scrolling through. For the numbers, you could also get cute little craft paper tags and stamp the numbers. Great idea. That's a really good idea. Um, using a stamp, that would be that would be good. Then you don't have to worry about your writing being perfect or, you know decent <laughs> for them. A stamp's a great idea. Okay, so any of you, maybe we'll just do a quick run through again if anyone is just joining us for the crochet along. So the crochet along is happening. It started November 10th. We're gonna, it's gonna run all the way through to November 30th. You'll get a new pattern released on Mondays and Thursdays. So I have six patterns in total. You'll make four of each. They are free on my blog. They are free on YouTube to watch. So this is a free event. Anyone can join. I've used a tree ladder to display all of my little mittens and stockings. I've got numbers for them. So we've got numbers 1 through 24. So we're making this nice advent tree ladder. And the patterns are available on the blog and YouTube. Plus, I've put together a beautiful ebook that's available in my Ravelry and Etsy shop plus on the blog. So you can, it's it's a printable ebook, so you can download it, print it, and have a nice copy to work from. So those are the options. The next pattern will come out on Thursday, and it will be the puff stitch mitten tutorial that will come out next. So I'm just trying to get down through Okay, so I have someone that's having problems with the blog. If, you ha if you're having any difficulties, you can email us. Um, there's a contact at the, at the top of the blog. So if you're having any issues, just make sure to reach out or you can comment on YouTube or in my Etsy shop or, or wherever. But the, the blog is the best place. If you just go to the contact, you can contact us if you're having any issues. So I think we have gotten through all of our questions this morning. So I'm just gonna grab the advent calendar here just to give you a show of what it looks like. Okay. 
Okay, so I don't have all of mine attached now because I've pulled some of them off, but this is the tree ladder. And as you can see, it's made with sticks so you can totally DIY this yourself. I purchased mine from Amazon. This is the star we've all been talking about, but you know, you can get creative and use anything for your star topper. I would just have that it hangs from here. And if you wanted to put a bow, if you wanted to crochet one, really whatever you want to really create the finishing, the finishing touch. So this can just hang on your wall, make it accessible for your children, especially if they're little ones, make sure it's low enough that they can all go and um, even help you attach them add their little treats. And then each day in December, they'll have a little special treat to, to dig into. And like I say, this would make a great gift, even if you wanna gift it to a family member, they would absolutely love that. Especially sometimes it's hard now to think of what to give people. Do you know what I mean? Like sometimes it's like, oh, what do you gift? Well, that would be a great gift idea. And even if you just wanna make some for presents, or ornaments for your Christmas tree would be a great idea too. So thanks so much everyone that came by this morning and joined us. Mm -hmm. um, we're really excited. I'll be back again live on Thursday to talk about the next pattern and go to the Facebook community group. If you have any questions, if we missed anything, make sure that you go over to the community group and join in the fun. Everybody's posting, everyone's having a great time. Mm -hmm. So it's good to get involved. That's part of the crochet along aspect is that we're all doing it together and everybody's posting. And if it's your first try and you're like, oh, this didn't turn out great, should I post? Still post because it makes everyone feel more comfortable to be able to share because everyone is not an advanced crocheter in the group. We have brand new people to the group, beginners. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Just post, post your yarn colors that you're, you're choosing. I know we've seen some great ones and then that gives other people ideas. We saw a beautiful teal mitten and now everyone wants to do teal mittens because it looks so cute. So post your color options and post in the group don't be worried we are a very accepting community so nobody's gonna you know tell you your mitten doesn't look good we're just there to offer helpful tips and advice so join us join in the crochet along thanks so much guys and just have an awesome monday so we'll see you again on thursday